Hey, hello guys. This is Mana Gupta here with another video, and this time we have with us the Resurrection Remix Nugget. Let's see, was this room worth waiting? You can see here the new boot animation, and it looks very good. Now let's quickly go to the feature section. Here you will. Go to the settings and you will see configurations. Now here, first of all, status bar. We have a lot of custom. Resurrection Remix is known for its customization and configurations. So you can see there are a whole lot of options to customize. So we will quickly go to. We will quickly go through few features that we think are important, like. Clock customization. You can add. You can change the PM uh, clock style, like shifting towards the center, adding AM, PM, date format, date position, date style, etc. Further, you can add Resurrection Remix logo. Now, you can change the battery bar, icon style, and the icon location. Like this, you can also add the percentage. Next to the icon and various options of battery style are these. Now, quickly go to the panel. You can see the notification panel. You can customize it according to your needs. Volume panel, power dialog. You can change the transparency. A force expanded desktop and other stuff. Now, going to the recent panel, you have general UI. You can switch to full screen mode. I will prefer that only. Now you can enable memory bar, clock, and date on the recent bar like this. Here you can see. Now going to the recent bar styles, you can change the button style. Here you can change the background color. This is the setting for recent style button. You can enable a clear all button also from these settings only. And further, we have Omni Switch, which you can set up. But I will prefer the stock recent panel. Now there are a lot of animations that you can customize. Lock screen, we have gestures, color animation, lock UI, shortcuts, weather options, and security. Now in gestures, we have double tap to sleep. And power button, long press, enable torch. Now in gesture sections, we have gestures anywhere, app sidebar, circle bar, eye control, and three finger print gesture, which is it will take a screenshot whenever you slide three fingers down. Now quickly going to the button section, we have navigation bar. You can enable it, and you can see here. Further, we have a pulse mode. And you can change the height and the landscape width from here. Now there is also smart bar option, and in the navigation mode you have flank. So you can choose whatever you like. I prefer not using navigation bar. Now going to the animation, there are system animations. Now you can. Customize the bar menu animations also. So the interface now display size, expanded desktop, ambient display, heads up, screenshot type, screenshot delay, etc. Now miscellaneous tweaks, which is miscellaneous tweaks, which includes updates, weather and clock widget. Linux switch options and other stuff. Now about Linux, about Rim, about Rear. Now few things about this ROM. You can check up here. Now quickly going to the settings and checking the Android version and other stuff. Yeah. Though I'm late, you can see the device is Redmi Note 3 and the Android version is 7.1. Now quickly going to the performance of this ROM. Here you can see the Antutu benchmarking that we did a few minutes ago. The score was around 
76,573 which is good enough now going to the memory consumption of this from RAM management you can see the average usage is 1 GB and we have done all the under 2 benchmarking scores and all of the stuff on the first boot itself so you can see the memory consumption is also ok now going to the battery backup of the ROM here you can see we did all the setup of this ROM and the phone was charged about 91% or something we flashed the ROM and used it for onto the benchmarking and all this stuff the battery still dropped to 77% and there is 22 hours left time period which you can see here you can see the screen on time is around 35 minutes plus the phone idle is 2 hours 27 minutes so idle battery drain is low so this was all nothing coming to the bug section that is specific to redmi note 3 there is only one bug that we faced which is the live display sometimes the screen doesn't light up and we have to do a hard reboot by pressing this button now for now keep this mode off and enjoy this rom this is my personal review of this rom initial review i would say final review will soon be up uploaded if requested now the download links i will put in the description below do like to subscribe to this video and do subscribe to our channel and do share this video to your friends do follow us on twitter and google plus thank you for watching this video again stay tuned for the next video thank you